Well, it didn't work out exactly like we wanted, but it's better than nothing. Hey, we are excited to get working on this dang engine, try and get it put back together. And today we're gonna do some honing and we're also gonna be checking the specs on the camshaft because for some reason competition cams can't find the numbers I'm talking about and they don't know what this cam is. So I gotta figure out what it is. So hang on for the ride. All right, there's what I am talking about. Look at that lovely mud. And trust me, as much as this forklift weighs, if I try to move that thing, it is gonna be buried to its teeth. Now check out what we got going on here. 55 Chevy two-door gas or wagon. We had that lined up to pull out and take to the sand blaster. And we got the same problem. We got mud here so deep, it is nasty. If I try moving that, it's gonna sink like a son of a gun. But check this out. The wife was tired of looking at all my junk and I don't blame her. And look at that fence I'm putting up. So it's gonna be nice to look in the backyard and not see all of my mess. That's a stack of wood right there and I already have half of it up. Anyway, let's check out the project. All right, we are going to get this girl pulled apart. We're gonna hone these cylinders, see where we stand on the condition of those. We're also gonna check out the lift and duration. Well, I can't do the duration yet, but we're, we're gonna check out the lift on this cam so we can figure out how much bump we're gonna have in this baby. So, hang on. All right, the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get a rough guesstimate on the throw on our crankshaft. At least I'll be able to tell whether they've actually stroked it because this looks like it's been clearance for a larger stroke, like maybe a 400 crank. So we are going to find out just a rough idea. All right, so that's one inch from right there. And we're gonna just flip that over there. All right, so that is a three and a half inch stroke. All right, three and a half inch stroke is a stock, well, it's 3.42 actually, but it's a stock small block Chevy 350 stroke, which is what I expected. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the crankshaft out, set it to the side so we can flip this girl over and we can get some honing done and see, just see what we're in for. Keep our fingers crossed that this thing's gonna hone. I'll make some ugly noise for you again. All right, let me get set up, get some honing done, and we will see if this is gonna work or not. All right, we are gonna try the bad ones first and see what works. looking pretty good. All right, we got two over here. All right, we'll just touch up the other one. They actually all look pretty good. I like my battery getting a little dead dying on me. All right, let's clean this stuff up and see what we got. That one's perfect. That one's perfect. That one's perfect. Not perfect, but very, very good. Perfect. 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 All right. Looks really good. We have a couple with a little discoloration, but I think we are good. Woohoo! All right. 
I'm really happy about that. So they all turned out real good. I got a couple that just have a slight bit of discoloration, but I don't feel any imperfections in it. I think I'm going to go with it because I don't know that I can find anything better out there. So anyway, right now what we're going to do, because that passed the test, we're going to put our camshaft back in. We're going to try and get our lift specifications so we know what we're dealing with. And uh, so you guys know what we're dealing with too, because I've had a couple people comment, hey, really wanted to know what the lift and duration was. I don't have a degree wheel here today, so I can't test for the duration, but I am going to test for the lift to see what kind of bump we have out of this stick. All right, so we're just going to slide this camshaft back in part of the way because I want to be able to grab the end of it and spin it. So we're just going to put three journals in. It won't be 100% accurate, but we'll be within a few thousandths. We're going to give our lifters. They got lubrication on them still, so that's good. Not that it would make much difference. We're gonna put that in, then we'll be able to see what kind of bump they get out of them. So on this situation here, this is the exhaust lifter, and this is the intake. And typically they'll have different uh, lift and duration for each the exhaust and the intake, so we will test both of these to see how it looks. Alrighty, so this is what we're going to be using, this funky weird little tool to get our lift and, well, our lift right now, not our duration. So this is a dial indicator, and hopefully you can see. So what I have to do, this is a magnetic base, I'm going to position it on here with one knob here. I'm going to con control it and put it down on here, so that as I move that, we'll be able to get our reading. So come along for the ride because you're going to be there the whole time. All right, you see the dial there? Hopefully you can see that. I'm going to take a look and see if you guys can see that. Not very well. We're going to reposition. All right, starting out at the zero. Let's see what we got. Well, let's see if... That's your zero there. All right, let's go. That's 100, 200, 300, all right, 320 thousandths it rises. That's the exhaust. So let's take it back down and make sure. 320 thousandths. That's within a thousandth or two. All right, let's try it again. It's going to be close. All right. We got 100, 200, 300, and 319. So I'm going to write that down. Now let's do the intake. All right, 100. 200, 300, 329. Looks like the same, that would be weird. 100, 200, 300, 19. Well, they both have the same lift. Interesting. Maybe that's because of blower cam. I don't know. All right, so, so you guys don't think I'm totally crazy. I'm gonna look up something real quick. So the uh, ratio on the rocker arms, I think is a 1.52. I'm gonna verify that on the crane cams or the competition cams. I'm gonna verify that on the competition cam site right now. Verifying the, the ratio will help us. Hmm, they're 172, no, no they're 152. All right, three eight instead, 152. You can go higher and it gives you a little more lift, but based off of what we have here, I don't think so. So it's a simple formula. You got the uh, 319 thousandths multiplied by 1.52, and we will see what our lift is. Now we can change that by going to larger lift, like a larger ratio on the on the rocker arms, like a 1.7. Let's see what my calculator says real quick. So 319 times 1.52, 
is a 484 lift. That's not a ton of lift. But remember, duration is more important in this situation because you have a blower pushing it in. So, and on a roller rocker or on a roller cam, you don't have to have as much lift. Duration is more important as long as you're getting the gas to cycle through. So I'm gonna look on the competition cams website and see if I can find a, a camshaft that has something close to that, 485 lift. Uh, at a 152, and if I did that, just, just for fun, I'm going to figure out the 319, and let's say that we did the 1.7. Well, I guess you have to do it right. 319 times 1.7, you got a 542. So, 542 and a 484, I think it was, I said. So, I'm going to check it out real quick, and we'll figure out whether this is going to be a cam for us or not. All right, well, that's going to do it for today. Let me tell you, we did figure out that we do have 1-7 ratio rocker arms, so we're getting a little more bump, so that's about 528 lift out of it. And uh, duration, we'll figure that out next week. i got to get a degree wheel so that I can figure out how long this girl's staying open. I'm also going to try and call competition cams again. I've done it twice now. Nobody can figure out what this cam is. I don't know what's going on. But I'll tell you this much. I'm really pleased that this thing honed that we're going to be okay. We're going to get a new set of rings, all new bearings. we got to get the crank ground. We'll get that set out next week. And we're going to get this thing painted up and purdied up. And we're going to get it put back together so we can get this girl fired up. So, I want to thank you guys for coming out and watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up. Give us that like. And, you know, share the link. Tell a friend about us. And always leave a comment. <laughs> Whether it's bad or good, we really, really do appreciate it. But this was going to do it for now. But as always, thanks for watching.